everybody. Last week, Reliance Industries Limited, RIL, one of the top five companies in India and a company that has been on the Sensex and on the Nifty 50 for the last three decades, announced the placement of a bond issue. So what we're going to try to do in this video is try to explain concepts with practical. Okay, so we'll have an understanding of bond features as well as relate every aspect of those bond features to a real live example and that to a very recent example and that is of Reliance Industries. Reliance Industries announced a jumbo bond issuance. Okay, so now this is the only company in Asia outside of Japan to have announced an issue that was almost worth four billion dollars translated into rupees this amounts to a whopping 30,000 crore rupees this amount this size makes it qualify as a jumbo bond issuance a jumbo bond issuance is in financial market lingo any bond issuance that is of a value more than thousand million dollars that's a billion dollars is considered to be a jumbo bond issue if it is less than 100 million it's considered to be a mini bond issue but over here as explained in new york stock markets in new york bond markets jumbo bonds jumbo equities are those which exceed a billion dollars in terms of issue size reliance industries had the following features of the bond issuance the entire four billion dollars while it is collected at one time it will be repaid in tranches these tranches are as follows the first tranche is of 1.5 billion dollars that will be repaid after 10 years the second tranche is for 1.75 billion dollars that will be repaid after 20 years and the last tranche of 750 million dollars will be repaid after 30 years. Look, it's very rare that corporates issue bonds for such long durations. And here we have RIL, that's Reliance Industries Limited, announcing a placement of an issuance for a staggered period of 10 years, 20 years and 30 years. So this repayment, which is split, is called as tranches. Okay, so a tranche is when the entire issuance of the IPO bond or equity is drawn down in blocks or it is repaid in blocks. That is called as a tranche. The structure of the debt is a senior note. Now, when you look at the word senior notes, it implies that this is no collateral okay if you look at the hierarchy of repayments of bond issuance of bonds then the first bond that is to be repaid in terms of if the company becomes bankrupt will be senior notes so the priority in claims is very very high secondly there is no collateral that is provided for this bond issuance so there is a size of $4 billion, it is spread over a very long period of time, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years and there is no collateral that is given. So it's a completely unsecured loan. This senior notes have very high priority in claims and they pay lower interest than junior notes. Junior notes are notes which have a lower priority in claims. Okay. But because of the seniority of the nature of these notes that were issued by Reliance Industries, because it is unsecured, it is called as notes. If it was secured, it would be called as bonds. Since it is unsecured in the New York markets, the term that is used is notes. The coupon payments are also very competitive. Now listen carefully because the coupon payments are called as floating rate payments. A floating rate coupon is when the coupon payment is linked to an underlying benchmark. 
in the case of this jumbo issuance of reliance industries the coupon payment for 10 years is linked to the 10 year treasury 10 year us treasury implies that the us government has issued 10 year bonds on the basis of that issuance plus 120 basis points gives us the coupon that ril will pay for the 10 year issuance if i take a look at the real example i have extracted the rates from bloomberg website for the rates on 7th of january and i found out that for example if the 10 year us treasury is 1.733% we add the spread this is called as the margin okay of 120 basis points 100 basis points is equal to 1 percentage 120 basis points is equal to 1.2% and that will be the coupon that is paid by ril on its 10 year bond issuance normally most bonds in the global markets pay coupon semi annually so this will also be paying coupon semi annually if you look at the coupon payments for the 20 year bond it is the 20 year us treasury plus 160 basis points so as you can see in the 10 year bond issuance the margin was lesser it was 120 basis points as the term increases as the tenure increases the margin also increases the margin now stands at 160 basis points for example the 20 year us treasury is 2.165% plus the spread of 1.6% that gives the coupon payment that ril will pay on its 20 year bond issuance semi annually that leaves us with one last aspect of any bond or debt issuance and that is ratings credit ratings agencies like snp have assigned a very healthy rating of triple b plus this means the bonds are of investment grade what about moody's moody's has assigned us as b double a2 which implies that the bonds are having a very high level of credit worthiness both these rating agencies have given the thumbs up in terms of credit worthiness of the company that has issued it and for all these reasons this bond issuance of 4 billion dollars by ril will stand out as amongst the most epic issuances of bonds by an indian company Thank you very much for watching the video. If you'll have any queries, please do post in the comment box. If there are any topics that you would like us to cover, please post in the comment box. My content team is waiting for your feedback and they will reply to you on all the matters with respect to the comments. Thank you so much and bye for now.